and bathe here with you all in the world of Chell. If you thought the action was hot, well, the heat's about to get turned up. We have some more competitors joining us, and it should make for some more great games. Oh, it's hockey weather outside. A perfect night for this one. Hi, everybody, along with Carlin and Ray. I'm James. Let's get ready to do this. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Rockies take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Receives the pass. Feeds the puck to Braun. Hanover's got it in their own zone. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Gains the zone from the right. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Slides the puck to Martin. Quick feed to JD. Handles the pass. Moves it quickly over to JD. And that pass doesn't go. There's a shot. Oh, what a stop. Earhart's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Braun's great at reading the play and picking off passes. That's his quick pick zone ability, guys, and it's how he gets possession back for his team. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, Whoa. that'll make the highlight reel, Ray. Sometimes there's nowhere to go when you run into a dead end. With possession along the wall. And he's able to handle that one. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We've still got zeros on the board. And a solid job tying up his opponent. The Rockies gain the zone. Handles. 
handles the puck. And they send it right back to him. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Tippett. Quick pass to Martin. And he keeps that one out as he gets a piece of the glove. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Unable to reach that one. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Nice pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. It Looking for that glitch of Airhart. up with a stop. Earhart's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Braun's taking it from his own end. Moves it to tip it. Nice feed. And it's a quick pass to JD. And he takes the pass. The Rockies have it now. Sent into the offensive zone. And that's offside stopping the play. Past the midway mark in this period. We're still scoreless. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. And there's the save. He swallows that puck up as he slides across in the butterfly to make the save. And a little body contact on that play. And now it's grabbed by Braun. Hanover's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed down low. Denies him on the play. Oh, I like this stop here. He makes the save. He looks in control. And the rebound's 30 to 40 feet away. Tape to tape pass the center. And he takes the feed. Sends a pass over. Puck picked up by Braun. Finland's got it in the neutral zone. Quick feed down low. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Hanover's looking to break out. Tries to get it over to Braun. And play continues here. Picked up along the wall by Steppen. Finland's got the puck behind the net. And they keep the pressure on. Hemsky's got something bothering him here. He doesn't really look... Like he's 100% as he tries to finish his shift. And he takes the dish. Hanover's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Martin. Looks to set up at the point now. Comes up with a stop. Again, the denial by the goaltender. And he takes the feed. Nice feed at center moves up ahead now. the buzzer 20 minutes in the books second period just around the corner Welcome back, everybody. James Sabowski with you. Period number two. The middle frame ready to go. Still zeros on the board as we are now underway in the second. 
And with play underway, Razor, how do you see things so far tonight? The Rockies probably got the message from their coach after that first period. Way too many turnovers. Game scoreless. Let's be a little sharper. Takes the feed at center, moves up ahead. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Funny, James, when you try something a little bit too much, you know halfway through it's not working anyway. I'm pretty sure that was the thought there. Pokes it away in his own end. Steps inside the attacking zone, down the left wing. Scores! Stop that beat! The Rockies are up by one here in the second. I like a lot of their game, but it's like they can't get these other guys to go away. It stays close, but at least they're playing from in front. Finland's got the puck at the defensive end. The Rockies played along the boards. Shot! That's wide of the net. Uh, you know, he's going to be mad, James, but you don't have much time. He's trying to deliver that thing quick. He just misses. Earhart's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Still lots of time left in the period. Finland's up one zip. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. He almost lost it for a second. And look at this. The official is calling a penalty shot. I think this is the right call here, James. The penalty shot awarded for the trip on the breakaway. Stephens at center and ready to go. I got this. And a huge stop. He was right on the move there. Crowd's buzzing, ready to get things back underway, and I think the officials are too. The Rockies win it in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Slides the puck down low. Grabs the puck in the corner. And a good solid hit on that play. Quick feed to Stefan. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Takes the pass. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Takes the feed. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Oh, and he denies it with a fantastic stop there. Slides across in the butterfly to make the save, but you still have to be agile even though you're covering the bottom of the net. The aces take it along the wall. Can't make it work. And the extended stick ends that one. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Stefan. Sends the pass down low. Scooped up along the wall by Braun. Great save by the goaltender on that one. Moves it quickly over to JD. Into the corner of the attacking area. Finland's got the puck along the boards. Hanover's looking to break out of their own end. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. He tries that extra move. I mean, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you've got to just push the puck a little deeper. Now he's got a chance. And he takes a shot. And that's broken up. The Rockies cross the line and gain the zone. Slides it over to Martin. Quick pass to Stefan. Hanover's got the puck against the half wall. And that's broken up. Sends it down low. That's intercepted. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. A little too much height on that. Yeah, maybe take a little bit off and get it on the net. The goalie had to duck. Let's get the call here. Well, the first job's going to be to kill this penalty off, James, but maybe they take a chance down a goal to see if they can get a shorty. Back underway, and they take possession here. They score! Right with the man advantage, and they make it click. Finland's now.
now jump to a 2-0 lead as they make their way back to center. They're happy about hanging a donut on the other team, but the fact is, this second goal gives them lots of breathing room. Who's the puck? The Aces gain possession along the wall. Can't make the connection on the pass. Oliver's got the puck. Here's a chance. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Taken along the wall by Stefan. Hammers it. Shuts him down. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Well, this has been a fun one here tonight. Great energy here in the building as well. We'll get a fresh sheet of ice and come back with period number three in moments. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. We've got 40 minutes in the books. Ray Ferraro is between the benches. Ray, how do you see things playing out? Hanover's fortunes in this game are going to rely almost entirely on whether they can get more pucks to the net. But the fact that they're even in touch with this game is a bit of a surprise. They've really not generated much at all. And they are on a roll now, Razor. You can start to see this game's going to run away if that goal scoring doesn't slow down here. James, I think the, the quickness of the delivery of the puck is more important than the placement when you're in this tight. You're just trying to open up a hole for the goaltender. Lots of time left in this period. Finland's got a three-goal lead. Handles it again. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Into the offensive end right up the middle. The Aces will play it in their own end. Oh, and they probably want to redo on that. Hanover's got it along the wall. You'll need more than that to beat him. Positioning's perfect. He gets into the butterfly and makes the save. Great read as he crouches down to block it. Takes it to center. Fires it on that. Finland's lead is so solid, that one's not going to matter much, I don't think. I know if I was shooting it, though, James, I would have wanted it to go in. And he regains control of the puck. On the attack along the boards. Center is Finland's all too aware. There's no mercy rule in hockey. They can... to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Slip feed. Grabbed along the 
the board by Martin. Into the offensive zone. And that's off a stick. Finland's got a hold of the puck now. The transition game now into full effect as they move across the blue line. Scores his second of the game. Now here's a little map for you, James. One's good, two's better. He finishes off this opportunity, and now it's a great night. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Finland's clicking on all cylinders tonight. They've added to the lead, and this is a total rout. Oliver's able to take that quick pass. He's only got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Pass broken up. The Aces will play the puck from behind the net. Moves it to Hemsky. Takes the pass in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Oliver. Finland's on the attack. Sends the pass over. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Oliver sliding the puck behind the net. Denied by the goaltender. Earhart's no different than anybody else tonight. I mean, that's a good stop that he makes, but he hasn't been very good, and the team has played rather poorly. And he makes the save on that play. Another stop by the goaltender. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. A quick look at the scoreboard. It's too much to not enough. Five zip. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Those face-offs after icings are important. Now you've got the puck and they're a little tired. There's another for the hit parade. Delayed penalty coming up here. Oh, a good textbook hit there. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Oh, man, this whole group of players is so frustrated. Everything about tonight has gone wrong. They use this 1-3-1 one, one set pretty effectively. I think the key is the player in the middle of the ice. They've got to be able to think. They've got to be able to get the puck to the open player. And when they do, that's where the chances happen. Slides the puck over. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Takes the puck along the boards. Here's a pass down low. And that pass doesn't go. The Rockies aren't that far from a shutout. Hey, if you think they're superstition in it, too bad. They've got a shutout, and they're still going to do their best to protect it. Tries it to the crease! And that turns off a body in traffic. Takes control of the puck. And that misses! Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Hemsky's ready to go. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play. But I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Great extension on his part to poke it away. The Aces get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Puts it on goal. Puck grabbed by Martin. With the ball over, he scores. Perfect timing. Well, they've been trying to get through, break through on this goaltender who's been running a shutout. Finally, they get one. Here in the later stages of this period, Hanover's going to need a lot more of that offense to get back into this one. Receives the pass. From the left side, they gain the zone. And that comes off someone in front that doesn't reach the net. Couldn't find the intended target. Couldn't make the connection on Game the play. Over. Oh, he just got hit oh. by a freight train. This has to seem like rough hour to him. He can't get from one end of the ice to the other without getting run over. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck.
And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Quick shot! Oh, he'll feel that one later on, but what a block! And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the box. Well, they threw down the challenge, and I guess they were ready for it. Uh, I think they picked their opponent rather strategically here. Oh. Jake. It's not like they went after the big hitter. Look at that. Shots fired. I love how this tradition has built over the last decade or so here, Razor, and the fans love it too. It's really kind of a cool thing. I, I thought when it started it wouldn't last. Now I see why it does. It's a great connection for the players and their fans. Well, it's the part we always kind of hate the most, saying goodbye, because it's hard to say goodbye. So for Ray, Carlin, I'm James. So long, everybody.